Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome. It's time to do the finale prize draw for Yarn Vacation Hey You. Yes, it has come to an end. It's the 2nd of July and time to do the prize draws. A bit of admin housekeeping before we get into the draws. First of all, I'd like to suggest if you have a YouTube channel and you comment, you don't have to be a podcaster, go to your channel setup and there's an about tab and under that about tab, put your email address and possibly the country where you're from. Now the email address is secure under there and your the country you're from helps podcasters like me determine what's the easiest gift to give you. Because not everywhere is easy. I have real trouble doing gift vouchers to New Zealand. Um, I do Amazon USA, Amazon Australia, Amazon UK. Amazon Canada require two copies of photo ID before I can do a purchase. It's very difficult to do Amazon Canada. Canada. But there is always a way to work things out, what we can do. Even if I mail things, some things I can send to USA, I can't send to Canada. This week, I'm about to find out what I can actually do when I send things to India, because I have a winner in India. So there you go. My ladies at the post office are really helpful. They look up everything for me. They even tell me the gift limit. Like, oh, I think UK, it has to be under 50 pound, or the person receiving it, has to pay fees and charges. So I'll put under £50 even if the gift is valued more than that because I don't want people paying fees and charges if I can help it. I've already had some advice about India. Don't put it in a box. Put it in a bubble bag because a box is a carton and attracts fees and charges. There you go. Every country is so different. But please, it would be really helpful if you don't mind going to your channel under the about tag and putting your email address and the country you're from. That's all. And, and they're secure under there. When you do it, you'll realize it's quite secure. So other admin, winners. When I announce the winners, you have to email me. My email will be in the description below, witchpeacecraft at gmail.com. It's peace, not peace. So when you email me, make sure you have heard or received an acknowledgement email form from me within 24 hours of emailing me. If you haven't, contact me any way you can, Messenger, Ravelry. Just try and even leave a comment under your comment that you have emailed me. I check junk, spam, I check everywhere, but please, Make sure once you claim your prize, after 24 hours, let me know if you haven't heard from me. What else is there? So today is the 2nd of July. You have till the 10th of July to claim your prize. I'm just going to make it a very narrow window. Um, I'm pretty sure by then most people would have claimed their prize. After that, no, I won't be doing any redraws. I will just put the prizes back into my budget prize pool and use them for another giveaway. No more redraws. Just the one-off draw I'm doing today. So the first draw will be a little video at the end of this. It'll be for a $25 gift voucher for those who posted pictures and participated during the month of June. I think we've got about 17 maybe 19. It was quite popular in June. So yes, they'll be. I'll use the random name wheel to pick a winner for the $25 gift voucher. Then the second little video will be for the six months participant prize draw. I think we started with about 29 and we're down to about 26 or 27. We lost a couple along the way, but that is absolutely awesome. And I thank you all for participating. Now the majority did actually participate in the Facebook group and what I've decided to do for Christmas in July is do a Facebook group giveaway. So make sure you go over and check the Facebook group out, join it if you like. I'm going to give away a $25 gift voucher at random to someone in the Facebook group. 
All you have to do to be eligible to enter that is be a member and post a picture of a finished object you make during the month of July. All the details will be in the Facebook group if you want to participate in my little Facebook group Christmas in July. July. Thank you to everyone who participated in the make-alongs and kept posting pictures over there. So that's that one. Now, if you want to join me on Ravelry, yes, I use Ravelry a lot. I, I'm learning to use it. I'm getting better at using it each day. I don't get into the politics of it, but please feel free to friend me on Ravelry and join me over there. I really love seeing what people make. So winners, email me. If you haven't heard from me within 24 hours, try and contact me. You have till the 10th of July to claim your prizes. The participant prize will be a gift voucher and possibly something mailed to you. Remember, it was open worldwide and I need to know where you're from, what country, so I can work out what I can do. That's about it. I want to thank everybody from the bottom of my heart for participating in the Make Along. This one was probably the fun, the most fun I've had. All the memories people shared with me, the laughs, the beautiful projects, the number of people who made snakes was impressive. It was just a great make along. And it has inspired me to do another one next year. Six months, monthly prize draw, end of make along prize draw. It's been awesome. I haven't decided on an idea. Like I said before, I've had a few emailed to me. I'm going to be doing some research and I will decide later in the year. But hopefully it will be as much fun as this one. And you join in and tell your friends to join in. Because the bigger it gets, the better it is. Um, to Madonna Bella, thank you for making the blanket. Our co collaboration on the Boggy Creek blanket. I think you did an awesome job. And I really appreciate you doing that and allowing me to be part of your collaboration during this make-along. So guys, stay tuned. Up first will be the $25 gift voucher draw for the month of June. And then up next will be the prize draw for the whole make along. Now quite a few were eligible to enter. I will announce how many names are on the wheel when I do the draw. But remember, you must email me and you must hear back from me pretty much within 24 hours. Let's get these prizes on the road. Thank you once again. Make sure you stay tuned to my YouTube channel. I will be doing monthly make-alongs at random whenever I have an inspired idea hits me over the head, which isn't often at the moment. I'm quite tired. Okay, stay well, stay safe, and congratulations to the winners, whoever you are, when I do the draw next. Bye for now. Hi, Yarn Vacation AU, June's monthly prize draw for one lucky participant who posted pictures during the month of June. There are 19 names on the wheel. Good luck, everyone. Abby, Abby in the UK. Abby, you've won a $25 gift voucher. Um, if you could email me, like I said, and if you haven't heard from me within 24 hours, let me know. We can do an Amazon UK gift voucher. Thanks, Abby, for participating. It was awesome. Okay, next draw. So this is for Yarn Vacation AU participant prize draw for the whole make along for six months now on the wheel there are 25 names and we started with 29 so that's awesome we only really lost four along the way the prize will depend on what country you're from and what i can actually do but there will be a gift voucher to start with and then i may mail you a little mystery box so Good luck, everyone. Remember, the winner must email me and hear back from me within 24 hours. Good luck. Trish, the knitting lady. Trish, you have won the participant prize 
for the whole six months of the make along. It was absolutely awesome seeing your pictures. I know you've posted a lot in the Facebook group and I really appreciate it. Don't forget, folks, Trish does have a YouTube channel. Make sure you check her out. Same as Abby. Abby is Blue Heart Crochet. I'll make sure the links to their channel are, channels are in the description below. Thank you, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the make-along. Until next time, bye for now.